Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna make a quick tutorial video on how to find cash buyers using list source. When you're logged into list source, you go to uh, create your own list and then you can filter it by the area. If you want to do it by city, county, you know, area code, whatever filter you want to use. So I'm just gonna make a demo for a city that I do business in, uh, Indiana, and the city would be I'm in. Okay. So you have your city selected next you go to property then you want to do property type you next you want to select the cash buyers uh, for what type of properties uh, for for my list I'm going to select one to four units and then the next thing you want to do is last market sale date so I want to find cash buyers who bought properties in last 12 months you can do last 24 months or you can use any time period that you want but typically I, I like to see who are the active cash buyers in last 12 months so I'm gonna do that and then uh, the equity for the equity part if it's a cash buyer they paid cash for the property so they have typically 100% equity in the property so you want to do uh, 99 to 100% um, I use 99 sometimes you know so it doesn't have all the data entered properly so just to be safe I like to use 99 to uh, 100%. So now you have a list of 274 people who have paid cash for their houses. Now, next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to options and you wanna just select absentee owners only because you really don't care about homeowners who have paid uh, uh, cash for their houses because they're not really your cash buyers. Next thing, you do want to include trustees because investors buy in trust or they buy it in LLC. So once you do that, your number goes, so this is 312, including corporate. Once you take it out, the number goes down to 131. So you want to make sure you include corporate-owned properties. Next thing you want to do is, um, which is important, is when you are buying a list for sellers, you tend to remove any duplicates but you don't want to do that for cash buyers for cash buy you definitely want to include uh, the duplicates it's going to help you with uh, uh, giving you a list of people who have bought multiple properties paying cash in last 12 months those are your serious serious cash buyers so you definitely definitely want to develop relationships so if I do this my number goes down from 312 to 212 so which is fantastic that tells me that there are 100 properties uh, which were uh, which were bought by investors as an additional property not just one-off property so this that's a great information so I'm gonna include that 312 and then once I buy the list next thing I do is I skip trace the entire list I get their cell phone numbers their mailing addresses mailing address I already have but uh, I get cell phone numbers uh, landline numbers and I also get some email addresses once you have that information, you want to separate the list by investors who have bought multiple properties and investors who have bought one property in last 12 months paying cash. Investors who have paid multiple properties, you want to, you know, you want to have your acquisition person or you personally want to develop that relationship with that person because they are your VIP cash buyers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the list of buyers that you have uh, who bought one of properties. Uh, you actually want to just develop relationship by sending them a text message or email addresses and and that's a quick and easy way uh, to start bidding your cash buy. these are people who actually bought properties uh, and paid cash for it so this is um, this is a quick demo on how to build cash buyers list